India is one of the major producers of edible oil in the world. It has about 27.45 million hectares of arable land under cultivation of oilseed crops. Till a few decades ago, India was an exporter of edible oils. But over the years, with the growth in population and better living standards, the demand for edible vegetable oil increased considerably, creating a wide gap between demand and supply. This in turn has necessitated the import of edible oils by spending enormous sums of precious foreign exchange. The present demand-supply gap is feared to grow wider in the coming years. The demand for oil is rising by about 6% annually, while the increase in production is less than 2%. To overcome the present difficult situation, Increasing the production of oil seeds is the only way out. Expansion of oil seeds cultivation in arable land will adversely affect the production of essential food crops. Efforts to improve productivity of our traditional oil seed crops have not met with much success. India has about 60 million hectares of wasteland. As a major step towards achieving self-sufficiency in oil production, there is an urgent need to identify alternative oil seed plants and trees which can grow in wasteland. This year, we have imported the, one of the highest quantities, almost 52 lakh tons of oil from abroad, and also has spent about 11,000 crores of rupees on import of oil, which is enormous and it is unbearable. So we have to think about the strategies of improving our own production instead of depending upon imports. Uh, one of the things I thought, and many of us uh, scientists thought is, the three species which oil bearing tea species, which have got a potential of giving up at least a million tons of oil with the existing uh, uh, flora we have got. But one plant that was identified in 1939 in El Salvador called Semaruba glauca uh, appears to be a promising candidate for growing under rain fed or wastelands. It doesn't require much of inputs and it, after five years it comes to bearing. The oil from Semaruba glauca is not only edible, but also it is some fractions are non-edible, which can be used for soap and detergent industries, etc. But much more also, because of a shortage of diesel, we are encouraging Jotropha and other plants in the desert areas and uh, rain-fed areas. But the oil of Samaruba can also be used as a diesel oil. That means it is performing triple function of edible, non-edible and also diesel oil and in addition to that, it has got number of medicinal properties. It can be used for malaria control or diarrhea control, etc. The leaves, the bark, the tree, all are useful. In my thinking, of all the oilseed crops of trees uh, origin, except the oil palm, which requires a lot of irrigation and it can be grown only under irrigated conditions or high rainfall areas. Samaruba fits very well in the 60-70 million hectares of the rain-fed and wastelands of India and they can be productively brought into cultivation and then improved and we can improve the, uh, uh, the production of oil in the country and in dip, uh, decrease the import bill. So, but uh, like our old saying, Lata, Vanita and Kavita requires uh, support and encouragement. Here also the scientific knowledge of our scientists 
particularly Sham Sundar Joshi and his wife Shanta Joshi uh, in US Bangalore who have done pioneering work on this Simurba Glaka. Uh, they had developed a lot of technology. This technology should be taken up by government, uh, not only the central government but the state governments and in, uh, popularize Simurba cultivation to meet our oil requirements. The day has come that we have to look seriously into the cultivation of Simurba Glaka as a source of oil in India. Simurba Glaka, commonly called the oil tree, is ideally suited to wasteland soil conditions. It is a native of El Salvador in Central America. Simurba grows well even in degraded soils and has an oil yield potential of about 2,000 kilograms per hectare per year. It is essentially an evergreen tropical tree, growing well in the warm, humid climate of the tropical regions. The tree is imbued with a natural ability to establish well even in degraded wastelands, otherwise unsuitable for other oilseed crops. Studies conducted so far by our agricultural scientists found the Simaruba oil tree growing well in the wastelands of Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, Orissa, Chhattisgarh, Bihar, West Bengal and Gujarat. It can grow well even in areas like Kutch in Gujarat, where the annual rainfall is less than 300 millimeters. Simaruba grows well at altitudes ranging from sea level to 1500 meters above sea level in all tropical regions, with a temperature range of 10 to 40 degrees centigrade. Subsoil moisture and ample sunlight means higher production of seeds in the trees. There are two distinct types of Simaruba. One, the black. And two, the white. This segregation is based on the color of the mature fruits they produce. In India, the black variety 